So today I am talking about the show Rick and Morty. Now for those who don't know what that is, that is a recently uh, added cartoon to Adult Swim. It was added on to um, near the end of 2013 and season one has just ended. So I'm here to talk about that. And basically this show was created by Dan Harmon and uh, well somebody else mostly Dan Harmon and I know that sounded really bad because I want to give credit to both of these guys but I'll probably put their names in the description so Dan Harmon and the other guy basically right now I think they're actually funnier than Trey Parker and Matt Stone of South Park now a lot of people might not agree with that but let me talk about Rick and Morty now Rick and Morty is about uh, it's a, a grandpa named Rick and his grandson named Morty and you know Morty's mom dad and his sister are also there too but it's mostly about Rick and Morty I mean they are the titular characters so <clears throat> Rick who is like kinda like a Doc Brown ish type person but with a more crazy personality he's an alcoholic and both Rick and Morty actually do have weird mannerisms and you know, like in how they talk like Rick would be, be like you know Morty uh, and burps like in some of his words and Rick kind of I mean not Rick but Morty kind of stutters sometimes like what, what, Rick what are, we, what are we supposed to you know something like that and right now I think this is probably the best show on TV right now. Now I said in my previous uh, Disney Channel videos that I don't really like to watch a whole lot of TV now on any channel because there's not a lot of good shows, you know. But Rick and Morty has given me a reason to stay up at night and watch something. And um, it's like it's one of those TV shows where I feel like it was meant for me, like. Because it's totally like my sense of humor and how I would, you know, want a show to be like with science but comedy and sometimes even dark stuff in it. And they just uh, ended season one. The, the finale was uh, last Monday, you know, this week. And, you know, maybe like after a few seasons I'll even do like a top ten best episodes list. I don't want to do that now since there are only 11 episodes. Now, I'll admit, when I first saw the promos for the show, before the show even came on, I, I thought it would be stupid. I thought it would be really lame. Like, the promos didn't really amp me up or anything. I just thought, well, this is stupid. But, and, well, yeah, I, I didn't actually watch the first episode when it aired. Um... But what caught my attention to it was flipping the channels one night and it was the second episode where I can't remember the name of the episode itself but it was a parody of Inception with a little of Nightmare on Elm Street on it they had this character Scary Terry who's a Freddy Krueger ripoff well not ripoff but parody and I was like oh, well, this seems interesting I'm going to watch it and after watching that episode I, I literally watched all the episodes. I even rewatched them again this week before I started to do this video. And the episodes, I watched all 11 episodes, and last time I checked, they were all deleted now. Go figure. YouTube is copyright Nazis, but at least I got to rewatch them all again. And it's funny how they don't do just the stupid, usual Freddy Krueger type parodies. I mean, they do make him say bitch a lot, but not just when he's trying to be scary, but like in general, he almost set, almost ends all his senses with bitch. And for some reason, that's kind of funny. I don't know how, but it, it just is to me. And to a lot of other people. And because like there's that one scene in that episode where Scary Terry, he's having a nightmare himself from back when he was in high school. And he uh, closes his locker, looks down, and says, uh, well, hold on, now, now I'm getting it mixed up, hold on. He 
realize he's he's late for class, and he goes, "I'm late for class, bitch," and he's not not even talking to anybody. He's just talking to himself, and it's I mean it's kind of stupid, but it's kind of it's it's just really funny. It's funny in a stupid way, but the show is not. I can't describe the whole show as stupid but funny. It can actually be pretty clever because after all, you are dealing with mad scientists, uh, a mad scientist and his grandson, and. A weird thing about Rick and Morty, the characters, is uh, uh, that he doesn't really like to be called Grandpa, or he doesn't say that, but it's kind of, I kind of have to assume it considering uh, Morty always calls him Rick. He doesn't call him Grandpa or anything. Uh, Summer calls him Grandpa sometimes, the older sister, but yeah, he just likes to be called Rick. But yeah, well, whatever. It's, that doesn't really like bother me a whole lot. That's just it doesn't ruin the show. It's just I don't know, something weird that stuck out to me. But in the season finale, it's probably one of the greatest season finales to a show ever. Now, this show in the past eleven episodes has dealt with both humor and serious drama. Uh, probably the most famous episode and the best episode so far was uh. It was either called Rick Potion Number Nine or Love Potion Number Nine. I think it's Love Potion Number Nine, but I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, it's where Morty School is having this dance, and it's like they're celebrating the flu or something. Not really celebrating. It's flu awareness. So if you have the flu, don't come. But some people actually had the flu, and that actually. Uh, is a basis off of what happens these chain reactions of all these things that go wrong and what it starts off with is uh, Morty goes to Rick and Rick just wants him to help him with doing whatever but Rick's I mean but Morty is like a uh, he uh, he acts he wants Rick to make him a love potion so this girl named Jessica, Jennifer, I think it's Jessica. Jessica to fall in love with him. I'm pretty sure it's Jessica. So, because Rick said something about love being a chemical emotion, or chemical, you know, whatever. Who cares? But he actually does it, and he's like, and he's like, you know, no, it should be foolproof. You know, nothing should make it go wrong or anything. But like right after Morty leaves, says, unless she has the flu or something which he didn't hear and she had the flu and she contaminates everybody after the potion has already been set in effect so everybody's in love with Morty all of a sudden and then Rick tries to come up with all these crazy uh, antidotes and he gets all these uh, like what happens in the potions he gets them from like animal DNA or something like that where a certain animal like spread something in the air that makes made some I don't, I don't I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore but and he tries to make uh, everybody go back to normal again but then they turn to like what praying mantises or something and they all start trying to kill Morty after wanting to make love to him and then they co turn into a uh, Cronenbergs or Crozenbergs whatever Rick called them which is really gross and, but now I'm kind of spoiling the show for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. And don't worry, there's actually a really dark, kind of really drama ending to that episode. I'm not going to ruin that for you if you haven't seen it. Now, the episodes by the YouTuber I watched uh, have been deleted and that count has been suspended. But I believe there, the episodes are still on YouTube as far as to my knowledge. So, Or I think they might even be on Adult Swim's website. Uh, you'll find them somewhere. Yeah, that's Probably, it's not going to be out on DVD anytime soon. At least not like in the probably past few couple, uh, not the past, but the upcoming months. But you'll find them somewhere, I'm sure. They might rerun all the episodes on Adult Swim, you know, even like tonight or something. Not like all the episodes in one night, but you know. So, Rick and Morty, it's a pretty crazy show, pretty clever, pretty smart, pretty, can be pretty dark. Including that one episode that had like uh, the a pedophile character try to rape Morty, and they don't take it from a comedy point of view. It's like a very serious 
type thing. It's, it's kind of weird to describe the show's humor. It's like, you know, it's like, a, you, mm, like I said, it's really weird. I can't describe it. But I think some critics have described it as being a mixture of Futurama and Beetlejuice. I read that somewhere. And, yeah, I guess that's kind of accurate. But, you know, I think Rick and Morty's actually funnier than Beetlejuice and Futurama. It's probably the greatest cartoon show, if not the best show on right now, which they just ended their first season this week, and it is announced there will be a season two, so I'm looking forward to that. So if you haven't watched the show, watch it, and I know this video is probably kind of boring you, I'm sorry, I know my videos suck, but yeah, I kind of make these for myself and for my friends, so it's not, I'm not, you know, whatever. You know, like, whoring myself out there. But whatever. So, to end this video, I'm going to end this with Rick's new catchphrase. I don't give a fuck. That's my new catchphrase.